Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about testosterone or the male sex hormone deficiency in elderly men. A female having decrease in menses or absence of menses after the age of 45, it is known as menopause. A male having decrease in testosterone level above the age of 40 is known as andropause. So andropause means decrease in the androgen level above the age of 40 years, which can occur due to aging, it can occur due to medical disease or pituitary or testicular problem. It is easy to understand the sexuality of a female. Suppose a female at the age of 40 years comes and tells, Doctor, my breast is normal. I am menstruating regularly every month. You know that her sexuality is normal. You may be having a male at the age of 45 years looking muscular, but you never know he is having an adequate erection. He is having a good libido or sexual desire, whether his penis is having a good ejaculatory time or he is having infertility or a decrease in sperm count. Because female sexuality can be understood to a 90% extent by the breast size and the menstrual cycle. Male may be looking normal externally, you never know how much his testosterone level is. Suppose a guy above the age of 40 years think that his sexual urge or libido is poor, his muscle mass is coming down, he is going to gymnasium, working out, but he is not developing adequate muscle. He is going for sex, libido is poor and the erection is also poor. He is having a premature ejaculation, he is having decreased muscle mass and fat is increasing. He is talking, but the voice is not getting that rigid or the breast is slowly increasing or the bone density comes down. Any of the features, because females, they have only one symptom. They tell the doctor, I am not bleeding for six months. I am having extreme heat in the body. Previously, I used to bleed every month. So you ask her age, she tells my age is 51. You know that that's the age of menopause. Men may be having umpteen other symptoms. So the most common features of decrease in testosterone level or the male sex hormone in a male is decreased libido, that is decreased drive to have sex, erectile dysfunction, that is the penis is not getting a good erection or decreased frequency of morning erections, where you are able to get a good erection in the early morning, three o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, you are not getting any morning erection. That's the first symptom that your testosterone is coming down. Any guy who thinks that he is having decreased libido, erectile dysfunction, decreased frequency of morning erection, decreased volume of the seminal fluid that is coming or muscle is coming down, fat is increasing or the bones are getting weaker or the breast is getting bigger, go to an endocrinologist and ask him to check your testosterone level. The male sex hormone, this is known as testicles, that is your balls in colloquially, English it is testicles, it produces testosterone. So you go to a lab and check your total testosterone in the morning, understand the normal value of total testosterone is 3 3.5 nanogram per ml. Look here. So this is it. The normal value of total testosterone is 3.5 nanogram per ml. Whenever you check a testosterone level before 10 o'clock in the morning and the value is less than 3.5. Look at this guy. Don't look at the name. This guy's testosterone normal is 3.5. His value is 0 0.025. He came to me with complaints of decreased erection function, decreased beard growth. He was shaving previously every day. Now he can shave only once in one to two weeks and a poor erection is there and the seminal fluid is not coming. He thought that it's due to diabetes stress he is having or the BP medication. It was actually an andropause or low testosterone level. That was very low. That is 0 0.025. So once you diagnose a low testosterone and start treatment with testosterone, his libido improves, his erection improves, his ejaculatory time improves and muscle mass improves and the mood and the cognition and even the anemia and the memory improves like anything. So I all always tell females have a doctor to look after themselves that is a gynecologist suppose a lady doesn't bleed for two months three months they immediately go to a gynecologist gynecologist do the hormone workup thyroid ultrasound abdomen, and pick up a disorder men never know which doctor to go suppose a 40 year old guy 45 year old guy is having decreased erection erectile dysfunction premature ejaculation decreased morning erection muscle is not coming down he will go and take all the supplements creatine whey protein branch and glutamine he will never go and check the testosterone or prolactin he will never Never check the thyroid hormone level. So just understand the male sex hormone is testosterone. Testosterone coming down in men above the age of 40 years due to aging, medical disease, lack of exercise, even obesity or other testicle problem leading to decreased testosterone level that is known as andropause just like menopause. But the theoretical name is known as LOH or late onset hypogonadism or testosterone deficiency syndrome. As a common man don't think of anything all these terms. Just remember your male hormone is testosterone. Go to an endocrinologist age more than 40 years, any symptom coming down you are having, go to an endocrinologist, check the testosterone I showed you, more than 3.5, don't bother. Less than 3.5, let the endocrinologist do the FSH LH prolactin and start treatment with testosterone. How can you take treatment with testosterone? Testosterone can be given as capsule, it can be given as gel, it can be given as injection. Capsule is known as andriol testocap. 
you are given testosterone capsule 40 mg three times daily for three to six months you are having testosterone gel also you can apply it on the penis or any other part of the body which is in non-contact with outside people you can apply one to two times per day and the best form of testosterone replacement in a guy with low testosterone or testosterone deficiency syndrome is testosterone injection previously we used to take sustenone injection once in three weeks now in gcc countries we have testosterone undignate injection that is known as nebido dipo 1000 mg once in three months just like a female after 50 years having menopause or decrease in menstrual cycle or the extreme heart pressures take an estrogen tablet men can take testosterone capsule 40 mg three times daily or ingestion of nebido 1000 mg once in three months and many people come and tell is there a side effect of testosterone replacement now guidelines say that testosterone replacement therapy that is trt has no side effect there are two types of hormone therapy one is replacement one is supplementation suppose a guy goes to the gymnasium he's working out he knows that his muscle is not improving but he's going to an endocrinologist and checking the testosterone testosterone is more than 3.5 but for the muscle he's taking extra testosterone that is not a supplementation whereas a guy is taking testosterone just like this guy testosterone is 0 1 2 or less than 3.4 and ultimately you are taking testosterone it is known as testosterone replacement you are not having in the body you are replacing there is no side effect at all but before starting always consult an endocrinologist check your prostate level check your pack cell volume check your heart also in between and continue testosterone which can be relatively safely given till 65 years because many guys have decreased libido erectile dysfunction decreased frequency of morning erections and decreased muscle mass after 50 they are drooping they can't walk properly many times their muscle comes down and they have a poor sexual appetite and sexual life even though females are very energetic by 40 45 years men lose their crisis and men do their sexual function by 40 this was earlier known as midlife crisis midlife crisis can be due to obesity depression it can mainly be contributed by decreased sex and late onset hypogonadism and last thing to know some guys come and ask us and they, even today one guy 42 years come to me in the morning and asking doctor i need an injection to increase my penile length people have so much confusion about the penile length females have no confusion of the breast size they know some females have 32 36 whatever they don't bother 80 percent of breast is made up of fat but men have the inner concept that longer the penis, the better your sex is. That never occurs. Now, International Penile Index has been published, which shows that the African community people are thought to have the biggest penile length, 16 centimeter. Whatever European nations are having an average penile length of 14 centimeter, and Indians are having a good penile length on erection of 12 centimeter. Suppose a guy has a normal testosterone level, the penile length reaches maximum level by the age of 18 years. This is the time where adulthood, this is known as the growth chart in boys. A boy became an adult usually by the age of 18 years suppose you are having normal testosterone level your penis reach an adult level by 18 years after that whatever ingestion you take whatever therapy you take your penile length is not going to increase so many people come at the 42 years doctor i saw in the internet that there's a cream for penile length and nothing if your testosterone is low you can apply testosterone gel or dihydro testosterone antactin gel if your testosterone is normal there is nothing to increase the penile length so concepts about sexual function is very very important so i always tell repeatedly females have a doctor to see that is known as a gynecologist men don't know which doctor to see for muscle mass libido testosterone replacement increase in pain and length. they get confused at least nowadays stat gp is there to rely otherwise they get confused and go for multiple quack treatment so whenever you have any doubt about male sex hormone go to an endocrinologist who is having expertise in testosterone replacement therapy discuss and then take testosterone replacement either as injection cream or capsule thank you